Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to show you guys my makeup brush collections and kind of show you like the most affordable brushes, where I got them, the quality. And this video I'm going to like declutter some of the makeup brushes that I don't use, that I want to get rid of, and just kind of show you my makeup brushes collection. So, this is my whole brushes collection. This is what I have. Um, this is what I own so far. And then here I also have another pile um, of makeup brushes. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you little by little and tell you what brand, where I got them, and if they're really good. There's also some brushes that are really old that need to be tossed away or just the quality of the brushes that don't work for me. The table is clean, but I just want to put my brushes on this top of this napkin so the first one i have is the wild makeup brush um this one's where i think i got this for christmas i don't know when exactly but i do use them a lot this one i do use it mainly like for powder brush um just because i feel like they're really soft it doesn't have label like what it's for but i do use it like for powder brush it's one of my favorites and they do last they are i had them for quite a while and they have lost me pretty good so and i like it because it's really soft I have this one i'm sorry if it's a little dirty it's because i use this a lot so this one is the wet and wild um highlight brush i know that for sure because i do remember the box it was labeled but some of them i forgot what it's for but this one is good um it doesn't take up a lot of the product i think this one is a powder brush i'm not too sure exactly this might be a contour brush and this one is a powder to go all over my face so i do use this mainly to apply powder all over my face really big very fluffy very soft on the skin not too harsh like other brushes brush and i use this as a powder to apply all over my face i have this um contour brush i guess to apply your contour um Cream, cream contour but I don't really use this but I'll just save it in case I want to like cream contour and apply it um, other than that I don't really use this but it's part of the collection this one is for the foundation sometimes I do use this sometimes I don't depending on my mood but definitely keeping this one is the wet and wild brush I'm not sure exactly but I know I use this for the powder this one I use this for my under eyes and this one, it might be for bronzer. I'm not too sure, but I still keep it. I'll find a way to use it. It's the White and Wild. It's part of this uh, this collection. It's an eyeshadow brush. Um, definitely use this a lot, and I use this like mainly like for every day. So definitely keeping this. So these are all my White and Wild uh, collection. And um, it's these um, Elf powder brush these are so beautiful it's like a very uh like a bright rose um rose pink collection these ones are the elf um so this one is for i like it because it's like label for you it's an elf powder brush so this is great for a uh, powder brush i have not used this yet i think i got it last year but definitely a little and then i love the angle um it's really amazing brush and they're so so soft guys love it definitely keeping the next one is the um elf angle blush so definitely keeping this i have not used this guys these powder brushes i've not used so definitely going to start using them but this is for the blush so definitely using this one elf blending brush i definitely do use this and i use this like for my everyday but i definitely will keep this one and then i have the elf small angle so i definitely use this like an eyeliner or eyeliner powder anything like that so i definitely will be keeping this and i did use it like quite often here and there for all the elf collections so I'm definitely keeping these brushes for sure and i'll just put it with the wet and wild so I'm going to go ahead and start with this um, pile of brushes here. I have the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. 
these i definitely use a lot this one is i like it because it's like black and orange and it says real techniques by sam and nick the best part it's also labeled this one is a buffing brush so i do use this to buff my foundation i'm starting to use my buffing brush to apply my foundation with this it's i have to get used to it just because it leaves streaks on your face but other than that um i really like it so i'm definitely keeping this the next one i have is the um contour brush but i mainly use it for my powder i apply it as my t-zone area um, but contour brush, I can definitely use that. It just depends. Um, but this one is the angle. The best part, they're very soft and they're amazing and they're easy to clean up. It removes the like the makeup product that was applied on the brush. This one I have is the detail detailer brush. I use it to apply like my highlight in the inner corners. Um, it is a bit dirty, so I'll clean this up, but um, that's mainly what I use just to apply my highlight or my nose, my tip of my nose. It's the pointed foundation brush, my cream contour, um, just to highlight the points with this. It's like four sets of real techniques and they're like the orange, bright orange um, brushes. So next one I have is the another real technique brushes. Um, these ones, I think I got them at TJ Maxx. So I got these at Target. Um, Target, but given to me, and then these are from Walgreens. The silver ones from Wet n Wild. TJ Maxx for $9.99. And it comes with five sets of brushes. So, the first one I'm going to show you is the Real Technique. I really like this. It's a bit dirty, excuse me. Um, this one has like a little purple and it has a little black and white pattern but this one is the deluxe crease brush uses as a concealer just to buff it with this um so i'll definitely keep this one the next one is the base eyeshadow brush i do use this a lot it's so soft it doesn't like kind of like hurt your eyelid where some brushes are like really hard once you apply the eyeshadow you start blending it um this one's really soft it's easy to work with um, I like to blend it in like the outer corners and bring it into the inner. Um, it just blends so well. Next one is the contour brush. I do use this a lot, um, mainly for, for bronzers, but yeah, definitely keeping this one. Um, it's very soft. Strip filling brush. I do use this for my foundation. I used it like three times. Um, and then I cleaned it and then I used it again. Um, I'll start using this. And then I have the um, Real Technique um, buffing brush. I do use this for my foundation. So I definitely use this once in a while depending on my mood. But definitely keeping this. Um, the best part is that there's no any uh, fallout. Like they shred. I start shredding. So that's what I like about these brushes that I have no problem when they start like applying your foundation or any other product you then I have these four um they're real techniques again as you can see I am a big fan of real technique brushes um this one is 429 real technique soft blush I love this one I use this a lot quite often to apply my blush just because it's so easy to apply very soft on the skin not too harsh it doesn't leave any of the um brush strips from the it's so easy to clean up as well right now it's because i still use it um but i love the sparkle of this brush quite a while and i have no problem so far um so i really like this um brush the next one is the concealer brush this one is a real technique 210 so i have not used this at all so i'll start using it just because it's for concealer to apply it in your under eyes to blend it in so the angle eyeshadow brush this one is 324 i definitely use this to when i'm creating like eyeshadow looks and it's easy to work with because it's like an angle i can definitely go in with the outer corner um but yeah this is the brush is a detail brush 328 but um, I use it to apply my eyeshadow. 
or especially my under eyes that's where I apply it and yeah so it's a weird color I'm surprised it's like maybe the color was faded for a gift but I don't know where where they purchase at but these are the real techniques though sets I have are the equal tool brushes um these were I think they were at Target and they were about $14.99 I'm not too sure um but it comes with like four sets this one is the um pointed concealer so this one is you apply concealer in your under eyes areas where you need concealer um i have not used this but i will definitely start using this brush uh, and they're very soft and they're very great quality this one is the um diffuse i don't know what this is for to be honest it's just this diffuse but highlighter brush i do use this quite often and it's very soft it doesn't take up a lot of product like others for it. it's like in the makeup brush and it applies so well um and i really like this because it's like the equal tools they just feel super super soft on your skin their sponges and their makeup brushes are really good quality and it doesn't like really harsh your um, skin and then this one is the large eyeshadow brush from equal tools this one I don't use it. It's really huge, but I'll find a way to probably use this. Yeah, this is what the brush looks like. I'll definitely keep these just because I still used it and I'll find a way to use the brushes. So I have are the LA Colors eyeshadows brush collections. These were given to me for Christmas. Eight brushes and i don't know how much there were but they're the la um colors first one is the um eyeshadow to color my brows <clears throat> i don't use it as an eyeshadow They're underneath brows in the top area so i do use this um so definitely keeping this so i use this as a contour bronzer so i'm definitely keeping this just because i still use it and this one is a face powder so i do use it to apply my uh Press powder on my entire face. Sometimes I like to apply it as in my T-zone, just depending on the mood. These are very soft, really good, affordable fit, um, brushes collections. And I like it because it's like black and then you have this really uh, nice pink color. Um, LA Colors Angle Brush. I do use this to apply my um, eyeliner or create an eyeliner with powder um, so I do use this a lot so definitely keeping this brow brush I do use this but the thing is this is like really kind of loose um, so I use it like to kind of like clean up my brows or anything like that so I do keep this LA colors blending sometimes I use this to blend it but the it's kind of like too thick I was hoping for like a thinner brush but I still use it once in a while then I have the LA Colors concealer highlight your points of your face I think this is great and I have this LA Colors foundation I don't use this at all so so soft and just really like it so definitely keeping this I might use it in the future brushes are called crown I did got this in my boxy charm um so this one is the doesn't tell me a label what is this for but i do use it for my eye channel so it's really soft not too harsh on the um eyelid um i really like this um so i'm definitely keeping this one's like white and the label of the crown is like pink so that's what it looks like it kind of looks like the white and wild be a blush i'm not this one i'm pretty sure it's a face powder elf um brushes collection this one i had these for a very long time i had them when i first started got into makeup and i needed brushes like to apply my makeup um these are the elf and it's like a seven piece set the style is like more like silver so this one I don't know if you guys see me use this. This one is the e.l.f. Complexion Brush. I do apply this as my bronzer. I love it because it's like so soft. It's so amazing. Feels great on the skin. It's not too harsh like other brushes where you can. As you can see, it's like 
so loose um, but it's still going strong so I'm definitely keeping this I'm still using this to apply my bronzer because I do use this like every day so I love using this all the labels are still there um, there I had these brushes for a very long time that's what I like about these elf brush so this one is an eyeshadow C brush um, I do use this for my under eyes to apply my eyeshadow powder or to apply the um, some like glitter shades uh, the elf flawless concealer brush I do use this to apply my concealer or sometimes I use this to apply powder in my under eyes i feel like it's more easier to use this but definitely keeping this it looks still in good condition blending brush oh my gosh i use this all the time especially like for my everyday routine i just grab one basic eyeshadow brush and this blends very well then i have my elf lip defining brush i don't use this for lips I use this to apply highlights the inner corners or tip of my nose anything like that I use this just because it's very like thin uh, pointy brush and I think it's like perfect to apply highlight in the inner corners the tip of your nose down the bridge your cupid's bow area I think this is a great way to apply your highlights small angle brush I do use this to apply like to create an eyeshadow eyeliner they're like spread out so I don't know if I really want this eyelash brow wand I do use this for my brows to do feathery brows on an everyday routine is a bit dirty it's because I used a soap brow so definitely will be cleaning this but it's like super like it's not like wobbly like like it could like break easy this one's like really strong elf brushes a white and gold um, elf brush this one is this elf professional F foundation brush this one it feels very weird it's like so soft and this one is like it feels weird from the bottom I'm not keeping this I have them for a very for a long time guys then I have this elf eyeliner brush I use this to carve my brows but it's like so nasty now like look how bad it is I, it doesn't come off so definitely tossing this away look at this brush hell and nasty i don't know what's in it but it's so freaking disgusting professional eyeshadow brush i still use this it's still soft um it still works I use this for like to apply my under eyes. So I'm definitely keeping this. Then I have the um, lip defining blush, but I use this to apply like highlight, um, highlight in the inner corner. So I'm still the SD concealer brush to get. So I'll just keep these. These I will toss just because they're really gross. Um, and look how bad they are. Like, I had them for a very long time. So, have are the um, Bliss. It's like, it's like a cute mini set. It comes with four. It's like, kind of like a pearl white. And it has like a really chrome silver. And it says Bliss. Um, yeah. So, I think I got this for Christmas. And they were purchased at Kohl's. And then this one is the um, powder. I do use this for my powder sometimes here and there. So, for keeping this is so amazing super soft it's the um, foundation brush you can tell like the difference this is like so old and sticky like it's time to go this one is very soft so definitely keeping that one and then this one is the um, eyeshadow it just comes with a four little set so definitely keeping these it comes with five sets so I forgot about this one this one is the lip but i don't use this for the lips guys i use this to apply eyeshadow and the inner corners this one i have is the um the vintage cosmetic company it comes with three sets and i got it in my boxy charm these i definitely use for sure just because um they're like made to create eyeshadow step one is for the money which I use this a lot and it's very soft, easy to blend. 
and diffuse the eyeshadow so it's like more like a cream and it has this chrome here and then step two is for the for the shadow so i love this it's like an angled brush but it's easy like to um diffuse the eyeshadow kind of blend it the third one is go girl girl so this one i do apply like in my under eyes like to put um eyeshadow on my under eyes so definitely keeping these they work really well given to me from one of my good friends um i don't know where that she purchased it but these i don't have like a brand name but um this one i'm pretty sure is for foundation and it has like pink star metallic gold um yeah so this is for foundation for sure and then this one i believe is a powder brush as a bronzer as my backup when this is like gone this one is the a fan but it's for highlighter i do use this quite often so this is really cute and then this one is i'm pretty sure this one is a foundation brush it looks more like a strawberry brush it is really really soft and I really like this a lot these are like a four set brushes this one is the juicy are very beautiful very sparkle and all that I just love how it looks um, it doesn't say like the label these were given to me uh, same person um, I did receive two brushes sets from her and look how beautiful they are i think this one is might be a powder brush i'm not too sure or this one might be a powder brush i know this one for sure is a blush one is a powder brush and this one is a foundation but i'm not too sure exactly because they're not labeled what it's for the pink and then they're very very soft so very beautiful brushes they're the slick brush sets and they're all like really matte black from the bottom and then it's like a really black shiny black on the top um but these are the brushes that do use this for like an eyeshadow and this is what the brush looks like it's a bit dirty i just have to wipe it um so i still use this they're very soft and then this one is a powder brush for sure and then or maybe this one's a powder brush i'm not too sure so i have two huge brushes i think this one is a face powder and this one might be i don't know bronzer i'm not too sure exactly but there are two different sizes how i think this one is a foundation brush and i used it I forgot what I used it for, but yeah, definitely keeping. And then I have this one. Um, I don't know what this is for, but I'll probably use it like for highlight points in the inner corners or the tip of the nose. So I have are the Morphe's. I did purchase three because they're like really cheap. They're like four dollars. And um, the first one is the morphe m518 this one is a great blending brush and the the brushes are like coming off and they do shred a little bit and then i have a morphe m573 and this is more like a blending brush i like it because uh, this one's more like long and this one's short but thicker and i think they're amazing blending brushes and then i have this morphe m5 m167 i did purchase this to carve my brows two eyeshadows and then to carve my brows with this then i have um the white and wild brush set these are the this what it looks like i did got this at the dollar tree they were like one dollar and it's like a not bad price i love this one because the even though it's a dollar it's like the quality of the brush is really great amazing it lasts long um 
I use this quite often. And then this one is more like a bigger brush just to, um, I don't know, create. But definitely keeping this. I definitely will buy more, like three more of this just because they're easy to blend. With the Wet n Wild palette, I don't like this because this doesn't give a really strong support. It's this side to create like carb uh, cook crease, anything like that. So I definitely keep this because this one is more a better quality to create cook crease. Those seven brushes said I think it comes with three. They're like the mini travel size. Um, so this one is a powder brush. I do use this quite often. And um, these are like really gold, beautiful mini sets. They're so cute, very tiny. This one's a powder, and then this one is, it, there's no labels, but this one is like an eyeshadow brush, I really like this. And this is like an eyeliner you can create with, great like for little travel size. This one I have is the Naked Ultimate Basic. This one came with the eyeshadow palette. Um, definitely keeping this just because I do use this to create eyeshadows, and then in the bottom I use this to apply the eyeshadow on the bottom of my lash lines brushes i have are the anastasia anastasia beverly hills brushes these came with the palettes and i just removed them out of them i do use them a lot just because they're like so easy to work with they do shred but you know honestly i don't really care it came free with the palette so i do use this a lot it comes with three and in the bottom i do use these two um apply it in the underneath my lash line so as you can see i did use these more often to create like a pastel purple or purple shade so i do like these i still keep them just because they work really well brush sets i have are these um amazon brushes and they're about 12.99 or 16.99 it comes with 18 um, makeup brushes sets and like I said I use almost half of these brushes um, I use this to create a cut crease and as you can see it's a bit dirty just because I still use it so I love this a lot use it I don't know what it's for cut crease so I'm definitely keeping this it's a really good quality have not breaking off or anything so they last me pretty well and I do clean them and then this one I use it for my inner corners um, so for highlights um, and then this one, I do use this for my eyeshadow, so definitely keeping this. And then this one, I use this for uh, my powder. And, and then I use this one for my blush. So as you can see, I still use this and apply my blush with this. They're very soft, great quality. They last me pretty good, guys. Um, I have no problem. They don't shed like other makeup brushes too i don't know what this for but it's there in my brushes collection so don't know what this for if you guys don't know if you guys know what this is please let me know this one is for a highlight i do use this for my highlight i'm not a big fan of that but um i have it i use it once in a while and then this one is the foundation brush i do use this um sometimes when I'm applying my con cream contours, anything like that, I use this. And then this one, I use it for my inner corners when I'm applying eyeshadows, anything like that. So I still use this one. I use it for cut crease. Like I said, I have them. I have like a bunch of these and I think they're great. So it's like I don't need to apply buy any more because I have these. And then um, I have another one. I use this for cut crease. And then these, um, I use them for to apply highlights or concealer, anything like that. This one can be like concealer, just depending on my mood, how I want to apply these brushes. This one, I'm tossing away. I don't really use this, and I don't know what it's for, so I'm tossing this one away. I still use this one, and then. This is really dirty, but this one's really good. I just need to clean it. These are all my Amazon makeup brushes, and they're really good and affordable, and they're very good quality. The Real Techniques 201. Um, this one is the face powder. I do use this, and I still use this. 
it's like a mini travel size this was at target i think it was like 5.99 or 6.99 it's ulta beauty blush when i think it came like when you purchase so much you get like free makeup set or brushes i have these i did purchase these at amazon um these i had them for a very long time and then when theodore was little he like chew up on my brush and definitely tossing this one away i don't use this and i don't know what's it for and then this one is like a like an eyeliner brush i still use this and then this one i don't even know what this is is but i'll still keep it it's like a wood and it has like a little black for cookeries anything like that and then here i have this like a angle brush i wish there were labeled but you know what that's fine this one is a foundation brush and then this one is for i'm pretty sure like an eyeshadow and these are all like a a set of brushes this one is from smashbox this one is a contour brush um i don't use this but i'll start using this and then here i have this random brush huge fluffier brush i think i'll just keep this and then here is an eyeliner brush i still use this i don't know where is it from to be honest but i still use this it's like a really old eyeshadow brush i had it for a very long time guys yeah i'll just toss this away that's pretty much it my clear thing is like so empty now I'll just toss these brushes away um it's just like old gross brushes that i don't need anymore clean this um it's a bit dirty and then toss this away and then just kind of organize my brushes um these are all affordable brushes nothing really high end so i love them um i will still continue like buying more affordable brushes just because i'm into that just it saves you money and then the quality is good i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys